the door this morning is a lot warmer than it was yesterday at this time. Yes, 60s this morning. No frost on the pumpkin as you head out early on on this Tuesday. You know, we're running about 20 to 30 degrees warmer than yesterday morning. You know, yesterday it was down to uh, the low 30s in Taunton this morning, 63. Providence at 62, New Bedford 63, and we're in the mid 60s, Newport and in Westerly to begin your Tuesday morning. So the warm up certainly underway with this very mild start to the morning. Won't take much sun to push us into the 70s for highs. The muggies are back. I mentioned uh, just a few minutes ago about that higher humidity on the way under a gusty southwest wind. Those dew points climbing up into the 60s. And then we're looking at some rain by Thursday. Pretty strong cold front coming through. The rain may fall heavy at times on Thursday and Thursday night with some isolated thunder in the mix as well. Maybe a tough day to do some tailgating and uh, watching the game at Gillette Stadium for the uh, Pats. Radar this morning has uh, showed just a couple of very light showers and sprinkles passing through overnight and now early on. Those have been uh, uh, diminishing and other than a little bit of mist around, just a lot of clouds here on this Tuesday morning. Warm front sitting off to our west, lift through New England today. High pressure now sitting well east of our area. Lots of clouds around here early in the day today. Those thin to some partial sunshine. This is three o'clock this afternoon. Not a bad afternoon, a little breeze at times, but dry conditions tonight with the high humidity around. I do expect that the clouds will fill back in and even some fog forming. So we'll wake up to some foggy conditions for tomorrow morning's commute. Maybe get on Thursday as well. This is 6 a.m. on Wednesday. Notice this batch of rain moving into western New York and central Pennsylvania by the end of the uh, afternoon. This is at 2 o'clock on Wednesday. This is that cold front that's going to make it into Eastern New England by Thursday. Much warmer start this morning. Roadways are mostly dry though, 58 to 65. They may still be a little bit uh, damp from those sprinkles overnight, but no puddles expected. 74 in Central Falls this morning. North Providence uh, this afternoon climbing into the low and mid 70s. Very warm for uh, early and mid October. 73 in Riverside Garden City reaching highs today near 74 degrees. At the coast, clouds and some sunshine, warmer, a bit breezy at times, gust up to 25 miles an hour this afternoon. Clouds and some sunny breaks in Burrowville, Woonsocket and Johnston, low and mid 70s. And in southeastern Massachusetts, you're making it into the 70s this afternoon, about 73 in Fall River, New Bedford at 73. So tonight, not uh, as cool either. Temperatures will be similar to this morning uh, in the upper 50s and lower 60s. Here's the seven day future cast about to 76 tomorrow afternoon. Clouds should break for at least some partial sunshine during the afternoon hours. But again, it's a murky start Thursday as we track rain and thunder could see as much as one to perhaps even two inches of rainfall. Some localized street and poor drainage flooding possible in any heavier downpours. Also, the potential is there for some stronger wind gusts, especially under thunderstorms, which could produce some dangerous lightning. Should end uh, early Friday morning at dawn. Temperature will still be uh, running at or slightly warmer than average to start the weekend, but by Sunday,